everybody, I'm going to show you how to produce this structure. So we are going to use the command translate in GMSH. So I can open GMSH and you see here that I already create the point and the line. So we have one beam and uh, we have 12 points because in each point I have to put the, some loads. So here I can translate the beam. So I go to the elementary entities in transform, translate. Here I translate by the direction Y. So for example, I put two meter and, and I apply in translation and copy to have the two beams. And I'm going to do the translation only on the curve because when I translate on the curve, every point are created. So if I did in place the whole entity, the curve and the point I created, so I have many points. So here I only do the translation on the curve and I can select all the line so I can press CTRL and with my mouse I can select all the line and I can press e. If we zoom on a point here for example we can see that we have two points. In fact when we translate a line it creates two points so when we translate two lines side by side it creates more than one point so I have to do the coherence so I can select Q and I do a coherence here and I press one and I can reload split and we see here that we have only one point now so it's correct so I can create my beam so in add line I can create here the column and I can also create the diagonal. So one and two. And I press Q. You see if the structure move, you can press in your mouse the right button and you click on reset viewport. Then um, I can create the colon feed. Now I can do a translation on the point. So this point and this point. So I click on translate. Uh, I'm going to do translation by minus 0.5 and I apply on point. So I select the two point and I press E. And, Q. and I can do the line. So one line and one to the line. So now I want to translate this part of the structure multiple times. So I can translate curve. The is this space was two meter and I can select all this part. So I can press E and I have two stage. Now I want more than two stage. So I can press E the two stage that I have created and I can translate by four meter. And I have now four stage. If I see the point number, I can see that I have more than one point like before. So I click on coherence and I reload the script and I have only one point. Now that I have created the structure, I can create the physical groups. So in the physical group, add the curve. I can add, for example, the column. And I can select all the parts of the column. I press here, I create a new 
Material Definition, In Steel. Be careful with the Young Models because it's too than gigapascal. For example, here I can put a S for 60 and I can have here we can see that I have and if I want a yellow string on of 420 here I name it S420 and I have the two material created. I have to put the thermal 2D file that I have created before so in this case it's a square profile that I name like this and the material name is the name that I just created before so for example this one I check that it's okay okay then I can create another physical group uh, for example to diagonal Here the name is U A P because it's a profile U. Um, the material name is that. So add. I check. Okay. And here, if I click on a diagonal, the physical curve open. I'm going to put the properties of relaxation. So here I can. Minus one and minus one. It means that the beam F two rotules. I can check in view relax. So okay, and I have to do a last physical group on the B. So here I can select all the beam that I have. Yeah. Like this, and I put the temp file name on C because it's a C file, and I can have. So I check. We have all the materials and the relaxed properties. And if I want to do one stage more, I can. So for example, here I can translate. So I go to elementary entities, transform and translate. I can here translate the traverse to finish the structure. So for example, here, here. And here, I do transition on the curve only and translate by the dy, for example, from one meter. I have also to do a coherence because if I check the point label, I see that I have two points. So I do a coherence and I reload the script. So I have only one point by node. So here I can remove the point level, it's more easy to see. And I can add the, the line, so add line. And here, if I click on view material, the last stage is not attribute on the material, so I have to add material so I want to add the beam the colon and the diagonal on the physical group that I have already created so here I can close elementary entity and I go to physical group so I have curve and I see that I have the three physical curve that I have created before so in the beam I want to add the beam that I translated before. So this beam and this piece of beam. So if I click here, 
I can see all the beams that are present in the physical group. And if I click on view material, okay, the material is also for the last one. And I can do the same for the column. So I had this and this. Okay. And for the diagonal. This and this. And okay. All of my material are created. Now I can add the loads and the blocks. So for the block in the end of the column, and I am going to do a block constraint. So in the X direction, I want to block and in the Y also. So here. And for this node, I want only to block the Y direction. So here, no. I check if it's OK. So view blocks. And we can see that the block are well present. So then I want to add the loads of a palette, for example, for a storage. So I add a physical group point. I call loads. And I select all the points that I want to put a load on it. So, so I want all of these. Point. So I press E and I put load on loads on node, for example, F load, and I want a Y force, so I put minus 100, for example, and I had. I check, so view loads. Okay. So I have the loads, I have the relax for the diagonals, I have the blocks and I have all the material for the structure. So now I can check the surface properties. So structural 2D, I call tuto. I consider max displacement of one meter, for example, for this type of structure. Uh, I do a static pure Newton Raphson and I do a comeback one and I'm going to okay and then I have to do the mesh 1D I can refine by splitting one or two and I create the in file so I see here Okay, the point in file is created. So I'm going to my file tutorial. Here is the file. I can open it with the surface shell. I run. And then when it's over, I can open the amen. I open the file for the tutor. I should know the elements, so there is my structure. You can see the support, the relax, the loads. And I have different type step. I can show the displacement to see better. I can apply a scale effect. So for example, and I can see the displacement for all the types that so for example here and I can also see the displacement of the node so for example if I take this node here I can see the node numbering if I click here so for example this node is the 74 the, so I'm going to sharp I select the node 74, I press plus, I select the node, and here there is the displacement for each step time for this load. So thank you for listening and I wish you a good day. Bye bye.